We all know who Iman Godzi is and how he has amazing edits, but do you know that you can make edits like him in just a few steps in CapCut? Here's how I did it. For this animation, we need two images that I have prepared here. We will drag the image of the street down and immediately enlarge it to 150% and then position it as we like. Now we're going to click on this little diamond here that marks the keyframe to animate our background. We're going to switch to the end of the background and drag the picture while holding the shift button so that it stays in the same plane. But we're going to drag right up to the pole to make the video look better. It looks like this now. Not bad, huh? Now we're going to insert our car and immediately increase the background and car image to last six seconds. Since the car is facing the other way, we will right click then edit and then mirror in order to turn it as it suits us. Now we can animate the car as well as the background image. And it looks like this. But it's still too simple, how about we make the wheels spin? To do this, we will place the car in the middle and click this button to crop the image so that only the tire is visible. Once we've done that, we'll put a mask on the image select the circle, and cut it exactly so that only the rim is visible. Now we're going to drag our car again, because we cut it out of the scene. We're going to add a mirror effect to it again. And we're going to place the rim so that it's over the car so that it can be seen. Now we're going to position the rim so that it comes into place. To do it better, we can reduce the opacity for the rim. When we've done that, we'll put a keyframe at the beginning where the rotation is zero. And at the end, we'll add a keyframe so that the rotation is minus 720 degrees, so that the rim rotates. Now we're going to simply copy the rim by holding the Alt button and dragging it, and we're going to position the other rim on top of the other tire. When we're done with that, we'll mark everything like this and make a compound clip so that we can put keyframes on the car all at once. We will add keyframes. And it now looks like this. Finally, we will make the car stay in the middle a little longer by adding more keyframes and our work is done there. And if you need a video editor, you can visit my Fiverr account link is in the comments. And if you're interested in the easiest way to monetize, watch this video. See you in the next video.